Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is Duo from Western Michigan University. Thank you for joining me today for my presentation, a novel graphite PDMS-based flexible triple electric nano generator. The first page we have here is an overview of my presentation. I would like to start with an introduction about current power sources for electronics that is being used and the reason why flexible power sources are highly desired and how it can be achieved through triple electric nanogenerators. The experimental section will emphasize on the materials used, nanogenerator fabrication process, and the experiment setup followed by results and conclusion. All electronics runs on electric power. The most commonly power source for portable electric devices are batteries. These commercial batteries have excellent charging and discharging characteristics and are a sustainable power source for powering electronics. However, these commercial batteries are rigid, bulky, and requires external charging. These limitations opens opportunities for the study of energy harvest with flexible materials. There's multiple application for energy harvesting. It can be used in wearable or the remote devices where a battery would not applicable in these cases. Also, implantable device or long range structure such as pipeline. In these cases, energy harvesting can be used as power supply for operation. In addition, sensors such as structure sensors and automotive sensor can use energy harvesting technique for self power without external power supply. According to the report, energy harvesting market is growing steadily. In 2020, it reaches to 485 US million and will up to 775 US million in 2025. The growth of the market can be attributed to extensive implementation of LOT devices in automotion, an area such as ocean energy harvesting, human energy harvesting, and sensor fusion in wearable electronics offer huge opportunities for the energy harvesting system markets. Energy harvester takes advantage of ambient mechanical thermal energy and utilize different transduction mechanism to generate electricity. It is a promising flexible power source for future electronics. There are three types of energy harvester based on different transduction mechanism, including piezoelectric, triboelectric, and pyroelectric. Among these, the triboelectric based nanogenerator, also called TEN, are desired due to its high power conversion efficiency, high power density, low cost, and a high reliability for both high power and low power electronics. Currently, people in research and discovery have designed different types of TEN. However, the performance still can be improved by increasing the dielectric constant and elastics of 10 layers. There are four basic working modes of 10, vertical contact separation mode, lateral sliding mode, single electrode mode, and freestanding triple electric layer mode. Each mode has its own structure and choice of materials, as well as specific mechanical triggering configuration. Taking the vertical contact separation mode, also called CS mode as an example. It is triggered by the vertical paradotic driving force that causes a repeated CS of two dissimilar materials that has coated electrodes on the top and bottom surfaces. A standing method of triple electric energy harvesting is a vertical contact separation mode due to its reported high power density compared to three other modes. Because the vertical contact separation mode 10 develops high builds in voltages in between the electrodes due to the vertical mechanical triggering. This slides we're showing here is a working mechanism of vertical contact separation mode 10 that transduces mechanical energy to electricity. 
In the first stage, when the air gap between the two triple electric layers is varied by the mechanical shaker, the dielectric layer surface chain charges are transferred between the electrodes through the load circuit to attain potential equilibrium state. In the second stage, the two triple electric layers will be in contact or touched with each other, which means that the potential equilibrium has been accomplished. In the third stage, when the air gap between the two layers is changed by mechanical agitation, the electrons will flow from one to another electrode through the load till the potential equilibrium is reached. Finally, in the fourth stage, the 10 is finally separated and no electrons will flow through the load circuitly. In this slide, we're going to talk about the equations of vertical contact separation mode nano generator. First equation is a voltage difference between two electrodes where Cx is a 10 capacitance varying with ver uh, very difference between two triple electric layers. When the 10 device is mechanical, mechanically excited, the capacitance of the 10 device Cx is greatly affected. The term one over Cx in the first equation should be kept smaller to increase the voltage difference across two electrodes. This can be done by increasing the Cx term. In this work, the materials that we're using is graphite, PDMS, copper aluminum tape, and PVDF. Initially, the graphite and tolan were mixed in liquid PDMS pre-polymer by stirring for 12 hours. Following this, PDMS curing agent was added and the composite was sonicated for 20 minutes. Finally, the graphite PDMS composite was mixed at 1800 RPM for two minutes to remove the bubbles that were created during the stirring and sonication process. The anode layer of graphite and PDMS composite was bar coated on copper substrate and thermally cured. With all the materials ready, next we're here at the nano generator assembly. The nano generator configuration consists of a cathode, PVDF, and anode layer, which is our graphite and PDMS. They sandwiched between the aluminum and the copper electrodes. Aluminum was used at the electrode for cathode because of its relatively high potential. The copper was used at the electrode for anode since it has low potential. The fabricated graphite P P PDMS with copper substrate was cut into 1.5 centimeter times one centimeter by the laser cutting. Next step goes to the experiment setup. Function generator was connected to a shaker via a power amplifier. The fabricated nano generator was mounted with its one electrode attached to the shaker. The other electrode was mounted on a 3D built stand. The shaker was used to apply fabrications on the nano generator with different force and frequency. The nano generator was connected to a di digital oscilloscope and source meter for mirroring the voltage and current. By testing the surface roughness of cathode layer and anode layer, it indicates that they have relatively uniform surface, which provides good contact to the electrode. In this page, we're presenting the voltage response of nano generator at four new and applied force um, at three different frequencies, three hertz, five hertz, and seven hertz. The open circuit voltage are from 2.5, uh, three volt to 2.3 volt to 2.6 volt as the frequency of nano generator were increased from three hertz to five hertz 
and to 7 Hertz respectively. Also, similarly, the open circuit voltages were recorded for 8 Newton with 5.4 volts at 7 Hertz. It is also noted that we have a 14 open circuit voltage when applied with 12 Newton at 7 Hertz. Then short circuit current was also investigated by wearing from 4 Newton to 12 Newton at the frequency of 7 Hertz. It was observed that the current response are directly proportional to the applied force and a maximum short, current, short circuit current a 3.2 mu ampium was measured at 12 Newton. As the data showed in this work at 7 Hertz, 12 Newton, we have the open circuit voltage of 14 volts. Short cur circuit current is 3.2 mu ampium and the power density is 320 mu watts square meter. For future work, the performance of the nano generator in terms of power density will be optimized by wearing the elastics purport, uh, properties of the anode materials. And thank you very much for your time. <laughs>